The first grammar point is subject pronouns. Before we learn the subject pronouns in Hindi, we must learn what is the subject and what is the subject pronoun. So let's start with the subject. What is a subject? Subject is a word that indicates a doer of an action in a sentence. For example, in the sentence, Ram is reading a book. Ram is the doer of the action. Ram is reading the book. That's why Ram is the subject. What is the subject pronoun? A pronoun used in place of the subject is the subject pronoun. In the sentence, he is reading a book. He is replacing the subject in the previous sentence. He is replacing the noun Ram here. So he is the subject pronoun. The other examples of subject pronouns in English are I, you, he, she, they, etc. Let's take the subject pronouns in Hindi. Just like English, the Hindi language also has two numbers, singular and plural, and three persons. First person, second person, and third person. The Hindi subject pronouns also belong to these categories. The first person singular subject pronoun in Hindi is ma. It is I in English. The first person plural subject pronoun is hum. It is we in English. For second person, English has only one subject pronoun, that is you, which is used for both singular and plural. Hindi has three forms of second person subject pronouns, tu, tum, and aap. Tu is used for singular second person pronoun. It is the most informal way of addressing someone, and it is sometimes even rude to use tu. The students are advised not to use tu at all. The best practice for students will be not to use it, completely avoid this form. For plural second person subject pronoun, Hindi has two subject pronouns, tum and aap. Tum is a second person plural subject pronoun and it can also be used as a singular person. It is you in English and it is the informal way of addressing someone, but it is still acceptable. It is used with close friends and relatives, the people you are familiar with. And finally, aap is also second person plural subject pronoun. It is also you in English. It can be used for a singular person as well. It is the most formal, the most polite way of addressing someone. The students are advised to use AAP most of the time. As you can see, English has only one second person per subject pronoun, you, for singular, plural, and honorifics. Hindi has three different, tu, tum, and AAP. The third person singular subject pronoun in Hindi is yaha and vaha. They are commonly pronounced as ye and wo. Hindi does not make any gender distinction. So ye can mean he, she, or it, and wo can also mean he, she, and it. The distinction between ye and wo is based on the proximity to the speaker. Ye is used for someone who's physically close to the speaker, standing next to the speaker, and wo is used for someone who's far away from the speaker. It is something like this or that in English. In fact, ye and wo is also used for this and that in English. There's one more point one should make about ye and wo as proximal and distal pronouns that when a speaker is talking about someone, that person is usually not close to the speaker. That's why wo is mostly used. The context usually demands that wo is more often used than ye. The use of ye is rather rare. Let's now take the third person plural subject pronouns in Hindi. It is de in English and in Hindi it is ye and ve. Keep in mind that in colloquial and conversational Hindi, people do not make distinction between third person singular and plural. For third person plural too, people use ye and wo. The distinction between ye and ve is also based on the proximity to the speaker, just like in singular ye and wo. Ye is used for the people physically close to the speaker and ve is used for the people who are far away from the speaker. It is something like these and those. In fact, the translation of the word these and those into Hindi is also ye and ve. Another peculiarity about the third person plural subject pronoun ye and ve is honorifics. Ye and ve can also be used for the singular person. When they are used for the singular person, it expresses extra politeness to the person mentioned. Here's the final table for the subject pronouns. I is ma, b is hum. For you, there are three forms, tu, tum, and aap. And for third person singular, it is ye and wo. And for plural, it is ye and ve.